Okay. The first part's in Spanish, right? <laughs> favorite character to play as. What is my favorite, if I had to name one, uh, that I've already played? Wow. Oh, yeah. You know, um, I, I, uh, had a, I had a blast doing all of them. I really liked Mickey Mantle. I really liked uh, Frank Castle. I like playing uh, sort of real life figures. I like this guy, Andre Stander, who was a South African policeman who uh, killed some people during apartheid. And he felt, you know, as part of his police force job, the cops were going out and killing uh, black people. And the, Andre felt so bad about it that he started uh, robbing banks uh, during his lunch hour. So here's a true story of a cop who starts robbing banks during on his lunch hour, and then his partner uh, is investigating this rash of bank robberies, <laughs> and it's actually him, Andre, uh, the cop. And he gets caught, and they put him in jail, and then he busted out of jail with two hardcore criminals, and he went on the biggest <laughs> bank robbing spree in the, at that time in the history of the world. He, he these these three guys robbed. For about, I think they went on, went on, I forget how long, it was you know, like a year or two, robbing banks left and right, and they were the big, they were awesome. They became folk heroes of South Africa. And that, that's a pretty good movie, it's called Stander. Uh, and I really enjoyed playing that, uh, that guy. It's a great story. You know. yeah. Anybody else? Yeah, hi. Um, do you still write comics? Do I write comics? Well, yes I do. Um, you know, me and my partner, Tim Bradstreet, is, is Timmy here? You say he's a boss. Timmy! Yeah, he, he, there he is. Oh, there he is. You want to come up here, Tim? Bradstreet wants to come up here. Now it's gonna, now it's gonna get interesting. <laughs> but, yeah, me and... You're not uh, safe. Yeah, we're, we're working on some books. Timmy and I. My daughter up there, but she won't come. She's, oh, she's. Yeah. You're not filming me back there, are you, kid? Don't. <laughs> no. Hey. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I got my kid. Uh, so funny. So seen Stander. Yeah. Awesome movie. <laughs> Seriously. See it if you can find it. Yeah, I think you can find it. It's on Netflix, uh, it's on Netflix Mark? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And you got no excuse to miss it now. <laughs> um, you got him wearing a fedora. A fedora? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. No, Tom, no, no. Tom takes his clothes off. You have to wear a fedora. <laughs> <laughs> you have. Yeah. That's just hiding my bald. Uh, <laughs> I'm playing a character. Uh, um, we have Bad Planet um, 9, 10, 11, and 12 written. Uh, we just have to find the right artist. It's very hard to find the artists that can carry the mantle of the guys that we've used so far because we set the bar uh, really high. Um, but uh, hopefully, and then we've got a, a werewolf book that we've been working on for a couple of years now. And we picked, we managed a great artist his name is Sean O'Connor, and he happens to be probably also one of the slowest uh, <laughs> artists <laughs> in the history of comic books. So this, this may turn out to be the longest project uh, anyone's ever done. But it sure looks good. It looks great. Yeah. It's called The Lichen, and uh, I think we're going to color, uh, color some of the pages and put them up online sometime this year just so people can get a look at just to whet the appetite yeah. you know, at what we're doing. Um, and that's about it, you know, I think uh, we've got Alien Worlds, which is a Bruce Jones uh, book from the 80s. He did Twisted Tales and he did Alien Worlds. Well, Bruce, it was a really terrific book with great artists. It was kind of like the old EC horror and science fiction comics. And uh, Bruce wrote, what, eight, eight new stories? Eight or nine, yeah for Alien Worlds, so we're uh, in the process of finding some artists for that. We got some old guard artists to work on it uh, from, from the back in the days when it was originally published, like Richard Corbin and uh, right. William Stout. 
Oh, I found this guy. Heavy hitters. I found this guy, uh, Tim. Check that out. So we're, we're here mining talent too. <laughs> oh yeah. But I, I thought this guy would be great to do a, 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 a story for you. Okay, Jim. Hopefully we'll have James O'Barr yeah, doing a little know. story in there. We got Richard Corbin. He's doing a story for us. Corbin. Yeah. 